Neft Vodka's mixologist and cocktail ambassador Luke Barr stopped by the studio and he's going to show us how to make a couple of cocktails to cap off the show. Uh, we love capping off the show with some cocktails. First of all, I need to say welcome to the show. Thank you, Michelle. And this looks delicious. Oh, this is one of my favorites. This is an all year season round cocktail as long as habaneros or in season, which people may say they always are. Go to your grocery store and try to find them when they're off season and you won't. This one is one of my favorite cocktails because this is a beach drinker. You can be in the mountains, like I said, all season. Has blueberry, blackberry, habanero, tarragon, lime juice, and of course, neft artisan vodka. Mm -hmm. Shake it up, serve it on ice, put a little bit of soda on top if you want to to help cut it, and it's a great server for dinner or any other time. Okay, I get a taste, right? Of course, you can have that one right there. I can that have one's this for one you. right there. Okay, all right, so let's talk. This Sorry, this was yeah. just a little bit of fun, and then we're going to show you guys something that I like to be a little San Francisco homage to the Buena Vista oh, okay. here. They do what I think is the best Irish coffee in the world. So instead, I'm going to show you guys our Neft Egg White Espresso Martini. So you can start your day with the Buena Vista and end it with us. Okay, so you're going to make it for us. We're going to make it for you right That's now. Exciting. So we've kind of got this set up slightly like a little bit of a cooking show just to make it easier for us. Sure. But pretty much we have egg whites, we have our espresso mixed with some simple syrup, which is really just heated up sugar water, okay. and then some cocoa powder. We have some black walnut bitters. Now you can use a, a couple different kinds of bitters, but black walnut really opens the flavor up with this and gives it a little more adultness. Now is that like easy to, call. to find? Very easy to find. In fact, okay. you can buy this on any kind of online place, shopping centers, or like maybe some liquor stores if they carry uh, this kind of brand. Okay. Right. So let's do this real let's quick. What we're gonna start with is we're gonna do 1.75 ounces almost, maybe an ounce and a half, depending, this is all personal, of how much you want. So we're gonna go a little heavy here because, well, we're in San Francisco. I look like I need a drink. Well, I was gonna say I might. <laughs> But yes, yeah, so we're going to start with that right there. And then what we're going to do, we're going to add about almost two ounces of mixture of espresso and simple syrup. Now okay. this should be probably three parts espresso, one part simple. So a quarter of the sugar in there because we really want to get that flavor and of course that caffeine. Yeah. Then we're going to add just a little bit of cocoa powder. Now once again, I just do a couple dashes. You can put as much or as little as you want. If you like a little more sweetness in it, add more. If you want it to be a little more strong, add less. So I thought you sold me with vodka, but cocoa powder, I'm sold. <laughs> and espresso. And then of course, we're going to do just a couple dashes of this black walnut bitters. And we're going to do just a quick little shake like this with it before we add our egg whites in. Okay. Just to kind of mix those ingredients. So not for very long. Not for very long. Just We just want to mix them up. Then we're going to add our egg white over here. Now what this is going to do is it's going to froth up our cocktail and it's going to give us just a little bit of what we call a proud or a head on top and make the drink a little more velvety. Now you should really dry shake this, which means shake it without ice, but for this case we're just going to go for it because I'm a cowboy and I like to live dangerously. <laughs> so we're going to put that in there just like that and give it a nice little shake. The sound. I know, right? Yeah. That's the best thing about a cocktail. The last thing you do is taste it. The first thing you do is you see it, you hear it. The bartender is making it, right? Yeah. Then you touch it. You feel is it cold? Is it hot? Right? right. And you smell it. The flavors, all that kind of stuff. The last thing you do is actually taste it, I which know. is kind of funny. So if you can make it look pretty, more than likely it'll taste good. Wow. So we're just going to pour this right here into a little martini glass or a Gatsby oh, coupe, and you can kind of see how it looks a little milky, a little frothy, almost like a hot cocoa, but of course nice and cool here and just fill that all the way up almost to the brim because it's gonna expand just a little bit, almost like a Guinness on top of it mm -hmm. here. Yeah. But of course, the best part about this is most vodkas, they really try to distill and clean them out six, seven, sure. eight, nine times. Not us. We use artisanal rice, we use artisanal water, and we really want the flavor of the vodka to show through. So in this one, when you drink this, you're gonna taste all the flavors as well as the natural wine, that earthiness almost like a tequila here, but it's the best vodka in the world. That's not me saying that. San Francisco Spirit Awards said that. And then just for show here, we're just gonna sprinkle the littlest bit. Oh, that looks beautiful. Right on top. All right, now I promise I washed my hands, but why don't you give that a taste and let me know what you think. Okay, all right. First of all, I need to tell you the packaging is awesome. Thank you so much. Yeah. Based on an old Russian oil bearing guy, and of course we, neft means oil in Russian. So here we just wanted to pay a little homage, but of course mm -hmm. keep it simple and we love the barrel. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Silence is a good sign on this show, you guys. It's wonderful. I'm glad it you like it. It actually is really good, yeah, because it's not too strong. You get that little sweetness, and you know, I've been up since two this morning, so this is perfect. Oh my, so this is actually a nightcap, not the this opening is, cap to the show. This is a nightcap. Yeah, these are my drinks. Where's yours? <laughs> That's, that's a very good question. I'm going to have to have one on the commercial break. <laughs> so with this kind of vodka, I mean, you can just mix it with anything, right? That's right. You absolutely can. We do a lot of different styles of cocktails. Of course, if you visit, uh, visit us on Neft USA or check me out, Luke Bar MC, on Instagram, feel free to DM me right instantly. I will get back to you as soon as I can and give you guys some fun recipes, especially going into the holidays. Yeah. This one is kind of like my spicy little pumpkin drink for the holidays here because we have the habanero, but you can mix it up and do anything. Okay, so I guess I'll share with you. You oh, take yeah. this, I'll Let's take this, and we'll cheers. Salud. Salud. Okay. 
Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And of course, you said you love the packaging. This is our 750 milliliter bottle. This looks small, but this is the same size as any normal bottle you're gonna buy in BevMo or a liquor store or anything like that. And we actually do offer a liter bottle as well. Okay, all right, good to know. Hey, that was great. Come back anytime. Hey, you bring alcohol, people know me bite you back. That is so Thank true. You. And remember, you can check out Luke Barr's handle at lukebar.com. As for the vodka, if you're over 21, that website is neftvodka.com. And that is it for our show this week, but we will be back with more Bay Area Focus next week. Be sure to check us out on kpix.com slash BR for these stories and more. And thanks for watching, everyone. Have a great day. Cheers.